Hello there, Cancer. Welcome. This is going to be for April 2022. Let's see what we got for you. Let's see what general energy is to start with. See? Oops. Here we go. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. So something's changing. Divine timing. Destiny. So what we have for this? I like this. We have... Seven of Swords. Hmm. Okay. Let me get some more here. Ace of Swords. And Five of Swords. What's going on? The truth's coming out about something. Let's, see, let's get some more. Got a lot of swords, though. Let's see, Chance. What else we got? The Emperor. Ten of Wands. And the Six of Wands. The bottom we have Knight of Wands. Come. So someone's coming in. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming towards you. Okay, right now there's something changing, something shifting. Luck is on your side. It looks like with the Ace of Swords underneath. The truth's coming out about something. Someone's trying to get away with something here. And um, there's conflict here going on too. And then we have the Emperor. Either this is your energy, you're stepping into your power. Or it's um, Aries you're dealing with. And uh, something about burdens ending and you're getting victory here. But let's see. Let's clarify these because a lot of swords, a lot of mental um, energy here. So why do we have the Wheel of Fortune? Let's see if this is good back. Wheel of Fortune could be either or. or. So let's see. I like the Wheel of Fortune, but it's got a lot of swords. Ooh, okay. It's good. There's a love coming in. So things are shifting and changing your way. Someone's going to offer you love. There's a peak emotion of uh, happiness here. What about the Seven of Swords? Why is that here? And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there's some kind, someone trying to, you're getting independent, you, you're doing all right, and someone's trying to sabotage you or trying to, maybe you're making good money, someone's trying to take your money, trying to take something from you. Dishonesty, thieves. Okay, what about this Ace of Swords? Why do we have Ace of Swords? We got two Aces, so that's good. Why is the Ace of Swords here? And now we have the Knight of Swords. So this is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So someone's coming in quick to talk their truth, to um, start something new with you. Could be the person who's coming in with this um, Cups, the Ace of Cups. What about this Five of Swords? This could be other people getting involved in your business, starting trouble. And we have, oh, here's your energy. So you're either moving away from something here that's a, some kind of conflict. Or something's coming in quick towards you. So, and I'm having, I'm getting someone's having trouble with their vehicle. There's some kind of, um, it's electrical. There's some kind of electrical issue with your vehicle. Okay. Now, why do we have the emperor here? We have the queen of wands, and that is Aries Leo Sagittarius. So you could be the emperor, and you could be um, having a a fire sign coming in. It could be you, you're the boss. It could be a place of business or something you're in control of that someone's coming towards you. What about the ten of wands? We have the two of swords trying to make your decision about something. That trying to, um, I feel like you're trying to cut ties with somebody in order to. Um, Get rid of these burdens. There's a, some kind of connection that's weighing you down. Okay, what about the Six of Wands? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person might be coming in to help you, or you're getting attention from this person. Are they noticing your worth? We also have the Knight of Wands. We have that already? No, Knight of Swords. 
Yes, this is Nine of Wands. So we have the Nine of Wands here twice. And that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Of course, we have the Queen of Wands here too. Okay, let's get some more on this. Um, Why do we have... Where's our... Okay, this is the first knight. The Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? I can't see. Oh, we get four of them. Okay, we have closure. Insult. An insult in the family. Share an insult. I, and then there's closure. Okay, so I, I feel like you fought with someone, a ear sign probably, that came in and shared insults back and forth it's, it's someone in the family and now there's closure you're probably not speaking or something happened or you ended something here there's closure here okay now we have the emperor let me put on each one of these why do we have the emperor here why is the emperor here options about money okay so you have some kind of options in your money because i do feel this is yours there's something that you can do about money you have to figure it out okay why do we have the queen of um wands here Marry. The end. Finish. Ooh. So this is um. There's an end to someone's marriage here. It's done with this Queen of Wands. I feel this. And now you have an option of how to handle this money. Either how you give the money, to share the money. How you. It's there's options here. Some for some reason with this ending of this marriage. So you're gonna split up the money. You can take all the money, you know, whatever it's going to, how this is going to play out. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this Knight of Pentacles? They come with a gift, a phone call, about a commitment, and they might be bringing you a gift. So they want to make a commit, they want to have a commitment with you. And. You know, you're going to be victorious in this no matter what because you got the Six of Wands. You're standing out. You're getting a phone call. There's, um, this could be for a job or it could be for a relationship, but there's a gift coming too. So what they offer you is a gift or they may be bringing you a physical gift also. Wow. So what about this Knight of Wands? I got two. I'm going to do both of them. It might be two different people. What about the Knight of Wands, the first one? We have Message. Six. Oh, sex and sexual. Okay, so this Don Juan, Don Wanda is coming in here quick and they have messages for you and the sex and sexual. We got both a, a sex in there. Wow. So they're they're, they're very um into having a sexual message with you. Okay, what about this other Knight of Wands? I feel like they're different, so let's see. <clears throat> we have apology. Eventually married okay this person's coming in to apologize to you looks like someone's ending a marriage and now there's a new proposal coming in <clears throat> two different people here so it's someone's apologizing and eventually they want to get married that is the scoop there wow i hope this resonates with you guys or you know something's going on but i think you have full control over the certain situation i think if there's things come up you're going to be able to handle it okay um so let's see what kind of mess oh messages we, we get from these are channel messages i got from my angels and guides so let's see what we get for you what which ones are meant for you let's see what are the channel messages for cancer please we're starting off with you are coming out of of, of a burden or worrying you are moving away from negative people or circumstances. You are releasing what is no longer good for you. See, that's it. The burdens are over. You just got to make your decision up here. Trying to decide how to handle this or something. Okay. Now we have... Something is coming to an end. And with this ending, there is new beginning. A transformation. Look for signs. Butterflies, rabbits, dragonflies, eggs, fawns, and feathers. Okay, one more. And we have, your energy vibration is on the rise. Lower vibration people will be falling away from you. Let them go. It's all for your highest good. Wow. 
And then we have the bottom here. You need to focus on your spirituality. The material gains in life will not be fulfilling without your connection to source. Nice. Okay, now let's go for the signs. What signs could you be dealing with cancer at this time in April? What signs? We have Sagittarius. Gemini. Oh, Scorpio. Oh, I'm flipping these. Did I put these in? Okay. Try this again. Oh, Sagittarius. Pisces. And Leo. Flipped upside down, so I'm flipped over. Okay, so these are the signs that you could be dealing with. These are placement in your chart, placements in, in their chart other people there's because it seems like a few different people coming in here for you so we have sagittarius gemini scorpio sagittarius leo and pisces so if it takes what resonates with don't um you no know, these this could be placements in your chart like i said and it, it could be any sign so now i'm doing the um the letters a little differently i got such an overwhelming uh, response and, and, and names for all the healing and i was saying out each name for each letter it got to be really long so now what i'm going to do is going to pick 11 letters here and you could put initial of your first name last name or your person's first name last name see if they go together and then after that i'm going to go into all the names i received from you guys over the time that i've been asking for sending me in for healing stuff look at all those names there's a ton this whole thing's full there's a lot in there. I'm going to have to get a bigger container. But um, at this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull 11 names. Oops. We're going to keep that one since I dropped it. And um, when I finish with the letters. And then um, so I'll have 11 letters and 11 names. So we got the 11, 11. And we'll see how this works out. Okay. So let's see. Let's get the first letter. A. Oop. I almost flipped it. A. A again. Could have initials um, AA. Oh my gosh. Do you believe that? AAA. -A -A. <laughs> How could that happen? D. B. D again. Oh no, that's Q. Sorry. That was a D. Did I have a D? Oh, I did flip it. So we're going to say D and Q. And I'm going to put the Q up because we already have a D. But... No, maybe I shouldn't because it really did come out D first. So we have D, but just think of Q too. And then, one some more. M. I thought it was another A. S. It says P, K, and this is W. Okay, so those are the letters. Now, first name we have here is Norman. So Norman's here. Okay, let's see. Well, ten more. Ten more for cancer. Come on. Oh. This one too. We have Charles. We have Danielle or Daniel. Sorry. Lori. I don't know how to say this name, so I'm gonna spell N A W A Z I E S T. Okay. This one's popping out. I'm gonna take this. This is Manny, M-A-N-N-Y. Zachary. And Tol Tolisha. L, I'm sorry. T-O-L-E-S-H-A. We got, we got eight. Okay. Um, nine is Anna or is that 
Oh no, I think it's. Oh shoot, let me put the light. I'm sorry. Oh, it's A M N A, and then we have Clemens. Okay, ten. We got one more to go. One more. Okay, I'll just grab this one so I don't do me more. Heidi. The last one is Heidi. So these are the names that we have that you could be dealing with or it could be your name. Okay, guys, I hope this um resonates. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. It doesn't all have to resonate for you. Uh, just take what does. If it doesn't, don't try to make it fit. And um, thank you. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for your, your like, your share, subscribe, and your comments. And submitting the names for the healing because I do the healing every single day day and i also heal send healing energy to everyone that views um i have a program so that you're getting healing the whole time you're here whether you're here a minute or you're here for the entire reading you'll re be receiving the healing during that time that you are viewing so and i hope to see you guys again real soon thank you so much and if you want to get notified from when i do I'll upload the the videos you need to subscribe and press the bell the bell will send you an email every time there's a new video to be viewed I usually upload three to six a day. So just so you know, thank you so much.